A retired police officer is claiming that Vice President Sara Duterte is involved in the Oplan Tokhang campaign, while Davao Representative Paulo Duterte led a narcotics smuggling ring behind the scenes. Self-confessed Davao Death Squad gunman Arturo Lascañas made allegations against two of former President Rodrigo Duterte's children in an affidavit he executed during the six-day pre-trial investigation of the International Criminal Court in February 2022. In a video call with reporters, Lascaña said that Sara Duterte had, quote, invented Tokhang with Senator Bato de la Rosa, then the Davao City Police Chief, as a way to downgrade drug killings to mere kidnapping cases when the slain drug suspects inevitably went missing. Lascaña adds that Sara Duterte, who served as mayor of Davao City, didn't want to be con constantly interviewed by the media about the killings by motorcycle riding gunmen in Davao. He also says that many people were being killed but no one was investigated during Sara Duterte's stint as Davao City Mayor. According to Las Cañas, this strategy was Sara's way of creating her own trademark in her father, President Duterte's drug war. In his estimation, more or less 3,000 were supposedly abducted and killed in Davao for petty crimes, including drug-related offenses under Sara's leadership. Las Cañas also detailed his role as the front man in the illegal drug smuggling in Davao City, allegedly run by Paulo Duterte, also known by his nickname Pulong, who served as Davao City's vice mayor. The whistleblower claimed he received around 50,000 pesos to 70,000 pesos per week as he served as a security escort in the transport of bribe money, as quotes, per instruction of vice mayor Paulo Duterte from the Davao port. Lascaña said he personally delivered around 50,000 pesos to De La Rosa and 150,000 pesos to Paulo Duterte every week. When asked by reporters on what prompted him to come out of hiding, Lascaña said that the Dutertes are no longer in power anymore and that he stood as a witness to their crimes against humanity. The inquirer asked Vice President Sara Duterte and Davao Representative Paulo Duterte's media officers for their comments on the allegations, but both parties have yet to give a comment.